Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a Python project which is entitled as Skin Cancer Prediction Using Deep Learning Techniques which is an IEEE 2023 conference paper. So before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So we all know that skin cancer is one of the deadliest and life-threatening disease that occurs on the outer layer of the human skin. So detecting this skin cancer in early stages should be very important and also it should be in a very scientific approach to detect it accurately. So in this paper, the authors have implemented the skin cancer prediction using the ResNet using the ResNet model they have implemented and there are various types of skin cancers but here in the base paper they have used three types of skin cancer that is melanoma, vessel cell carcinoma and squamous cell skin cancer. So these are the three types they have done in the base paper and uh, the accuracy they have achieved is 82.87 percentage. So we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the base paper. So now let us see the proposed model. So in this project, so we have implemented the skin cancer prediction using CNN architecture. And the training accuracy that we have achieved is 96 percentage and the validation accuracy that we have achieved is 97 percentage. So this is the IEEE based paper that is skin cancer prediction using deep learning techniques or you can use our proposed title that is AI driven skin cancer detection for yearly intervention using deep learning. This is the IEEE based paper and this is the proposed abstract. So now let us see what all the improvement that we have done in our proposed abstract. So here we are going to predict the skin cancer but their classification is more so here in the base paper they have used only three classification but we are going to predict on seven classification so now let us see what all those seven classification so here you can see those seven classification that is mentioned here so actinic keratosis and intrapilithial carcinoma that is short form of AKIEC Second classification is basal cell carcinoma that is BCC. Third classification is benign keratosis like lesions BKL. Fourth one is dermatofibroma DF. Fifth one is melanoma MEL. Sixth one is melanocytic NV, NV. And the seventh one that is final classification is VASC that is pyogenic granulomas and hemorrhage. So this all the classification that we are going to predict the skin cancer type and the uh, algorithm or model that we have used is convolutional neural network architecture CNN and the data set that we have used is HAM 10,000 that is human against machine with 10,000 training images data set so which contains around 10,015 high resolution dermatoscopic images so here we have achieved the training accuracy of 96 and the validation accuracy of 97 so what all the things that is mentioned uh, I have mentioned that has been mentioned in this proposed abstract and this is about the existing system we are consider the base paper as the existing system and what all the disadvantages of the existing system and this is about the proposed system, the proposed model with the CNN and what is the advantages of the proposed system are all mentioned in this document and in the system architecture you can see the HM, HAM 10,000 image data set has been trained and the pre-processing feature selection is made and CNN architecture is being done and the printed result with the 7 classification that is mentioned and final we will be showing the performance analysis and graph. And we have developed this project in Python 3.10.9 version and web framework is Flask and this is the reference of the project. So before execution I will show you the data set part. So in the source code folder in the model folder we'll, so the data set 
consists of two folders HAM 10,000 images part one which contains around 5,000 images so here you can see the images of this HAM part one and HAM 10,000 images part two which contains around 5,015 images so these are all the data set images that we are trained up with so now let us see the execution of the project before execution make sure that you fulfill the requirement that is mentioned in the requirement file with the exact version of the python and the library is installed in your system so first copy the source code location now go to your command prompt now go to the drive location where you have pasted the code so in my case i have pasted my code in f drive so let me go to the f drive first so now type cd space and paste the location that we have copied now we are into the source code location now type python app.py and click enter now kindly wait for a few minutes so now you can see this url just copy this url go to any of your browser i am going to firefox now just paste the URL that you copy and click enter. So now you can see the home screen and welcome screen of the project with the project title skin cancer prediction using deep learning. And first let me click this login menu. Just click this login menu. It will be navigated to this login page. Kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project. So just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and click this login button. So now you can see the login success message and click OK. So now it will be navigated to the preview part where you need to upload the test case image and see the prediction result of it. So now let me select this browse button. Now go into the project source code location. So where you can see the upload folder where you can see all the seven cases that I have mentioned you with the test images so now let me go show you the, the images from the each cases so first let me go to the first case let me select a random image and this is the image i have selected and then click submit button so now in the prediction page you can see the prediction result and we, we can and see what is the image that i have selected and the prediction result you can see with the predicted classes the predicted result is actinic keratosis and intra filial carcinome and now let me check with some other case so just click this preview menu so again it will be navigated to the preview part select the browse and go to the other case let me go to the second case that is bcc the cell cell carcinoma and let me select an image so this is the image i have selected and click submit so now you can see the predicted result is basal cell carcinoma so now let me go to the preview part again select the browse part and let me go to the third case bkl and select an image and then click the submit so now you can see the picture result is benign keratosis like lessons so this is the case that is predicted and let me go to the preview part again and this time let me go to the df case and select an image and then click submit so now you can see the picture result is dermatofibroma. Let me go to the preview menu again. We select the browse button and go to the next case NV and select an image and then click submit. So now you can see the picture result is melanocytic nevi. Let me go to the preview part again, select the browse button and go to the next case ML and select an image and then click submit so now you can see the predicted result is melanoma let me go to the preview and go to the browse button and let me go to the final case of <coughs> and then select an image and then click the submit button so now you can see the predicted result is pyogenic granulomas and hemorrhage so this is the predicted class let me go to the preview part so now you can also select the image from the data set that we have trained up with so now let me go to the model folder and go to the data set and go to the HAM part 2 you can select any of the image which is available and then click submit 
and you can see the predicted result is melanocytic navy so this is the predicted class of the image that i have selected so in this way you can check with the seven classes with the images that is provided in the training part or the test part of it so here someone will be having a question that what happens if i am giving some other image like human image or an animal image like that it gives a random result only because we cannot train up the model with all the images and say this is the this the, this class it belongs to so it is not possible so only it accepts the images that is get trained up with so it shows the exact result of the images that we have trained up in case if you are giving some random random images which is not up trained give some random results only so let me show you the final case this is the prediction result is melanoma so in this way you can check with all other images that you have trained up with so now let me go to the next part that is the graph part so just click this graph part you will be able to the graph part in the graph part we will be having two graph of that is model accuracy graph and model loss graph kindly note that this is a static graph this does not vary according to the input or that we are giving with so this has been plotted based on the model code that we have developed in the pack and so this model accuracy graph contains loss and e bugs that we have done this is the model accuracy graph and this is the model loss graph the model loss graph will be having accuracy and the e bug that we have developed and final is the chart part so in the chart part you will be seeing a chart so this chart is also a static chart this is not a dynamic chart because as i mentioned earlier we are not used any database in the project so this chart depicts the data set that you have trained up with so here you can see the class nv contains the most uh, 30 percentage and ml melanoma with 20 percentage bkl with 15 percentage bcc with 15 percentage ak iec with 10 percentage Mask at five percentage and DEF with five percentage. So these are the about the data set that we are trained up with. So that contains the classification of the seven classifications that has been trained up with. And now let me log out from this part. And this is all about the project skin cancer prediction using deep learning techniques. And thank you for watching.